Sherry, what are the lessons that you've learnt so far that might help other cities who are contemplating something similar? Well, certainly one of the things that was really strong in Manchester is that many of those organisations had very um, strong uh, community engagement and offices or departments, they did have a focus on working with audiences beyond the um, sort of more arts engaged and affluent audiences. So in a way, we didn't have to go out and win hearts and minds. These were organisations that were interested in older people. The other thing is that we recognised, in some cases, the organisations didn't necessarily talk to each other. So the idea, for example, of the cultural tour was quite uh, remarkable because the museum would rarely be in a forum where it would meet somebody from the Royal Exchange. So providing a forum for shared learning was really important and not doing it at a level whereby people felt excluded, but by saying um, to organisations, you go out and programme these tools and think about ideas, look at the way you work currently, what would appeal to older audiences. We fed them all the research that we could in terms of the barriers that we mentioned earlier, transport, programming times and costs, and really made sure that they were communicating with each other when they finally came up with brilliant ideas and then made sure that we were commuti communicating those ideas to the older people that they were trying to reach. Arguably those sorts of networks, a healthcare professional, you know, somebody who works in a residential uh, home meeting up with a theatre programmer, those sorts of meetings wouldn't normally take place. So providing an atmosphere and a forum for that kind of communication is critical to the success of this project.